Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rob Balasavis. In this video, I want to share with you a Restream.io alternative to multi-streaming to multiple channels using one of my favorite tools, StreamYard. Before I share my screen, I do a lot of tutorials for content creators on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well, and let's jump into my screen. Let's go. Welcome to my screen. The reason that I'm creating this video is that about nine months ago, I created a video on Restream Facebook Live tutorial. As you can see here, this is that video right here and it continues to be one of the top most viewed videos on my channel every single month. So I thought that I would update this because I know that there is some information that is outdated. So this is the updated version of that video. Here's some more information on this video, some more analytics, and you can see that the views have actually gone up quite significantly, especially nowadays when people are looking to do more multi-streaming. And so I'm hoping that this video will give you some more options to do multi-streaming a lot easier using StreamYard. Now, before I go into the step-by-steps on how to set up multi-streaming using StreamYard, every single week I have a show called The Creator's Corner. That show is live and multi-streamed every single week to multiple channels. So I'm gonna show you which channels those are, and I do all of that using StreamYard. So be ready for some quick jump cuts here. The first channel is the Facebook page for TubeBuddy. The other channel that I stream to is my private Facebook group called the Content Creators Cafe. I'll also multi-stream this using StreamYard to my YouTube channel as well as TubeBuddy's Twitter feed. And lastly, I multi-stream this using StreamYard to my LinkedIn profile because I do have LinkedIn Live Access as well. All right, so the first thing to use StreamYard to multi-stream to multiple channels all at once is go to StreamYard.com forward slash Rob. You can start with a free trial for 30 days with that link. The type of plan that you'll need on StreamYard to do this is the professional plan. You'll see that right here. It is $39. This is quite comparable to Restream.io's professional plan at $41 per month which allows you to multi-stream to four channels using Restream.io. The nice thing about StreamYard is that at the $39 professional plan, you're also able to get a recording of your stream, which is really good when you are planning to repurpose your live streams for micro content or anything like that. Okay, so now that you have your StreamYard account open and created, the first thing you need to do is click on destinations on the top left here of the screen. Once you're there, you wanna click this blue button that says add a destination. What a destination is, is that it is a channel that you can live stream to. So whether that's your Facebook page, your Facebook group, your Facebook profile, your LinkedIn company page, or your LinkedIn personal profile, your YouTube channel, as well as Periscope slash Twitter. You also have the option to go live on Twitch as well as using Restream or a custom RTMP. Once you've connected your destinations, what you can do is go back to broadcast on the top left of the screen. And then now you can go ahead and create your broadcast. You can either do a pop-up broadcast, meaning you go live right away, instantly, or you can schedule your broadcast ahead of time so that you can promote that live stream session to your audience through your email list or social media or other channels to get more people aware of your upcoming live stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create a broadcast now. What you'll now see is an option to click and select all of the different channels that you wanna go and multi-stream to using StreamYard. On the pro account, you can multi-stream to up to five channels at the same time. For my Creator's Corner live stream show, I typically choose the TubeBuddy Facebook page, my personal private Facebook group, my LinkedIn Live, as well as my YouTube channel and TubeBuddy's Twitter slash Periscope feed. Now you'll see two fields pop up here, which is the title, as well as the description of the upcoming live stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out for you really quickly. So now that I've filled out the title and the description of this upcoming scheduled live stream, which is what I typically do, I don't usually do a pop-up live stream. I usually will schedule it for later, usually three to seven days before the actual live stream happens. Once I've filled in the title and the description, what I'll do is check this box right here to schedule for later. This gives me a couple of additional options. The first one is now I can upload a thumbnail image. So I'll go ahead and 
get one of my thumbnail images from a previous live stream. This will open up my file browser. So I'm gonna go ahead to download and look for one of my previous thumbnails right here. I'll choose this one with David and Luria from Live Streaming Pros. I can actually crop this thumbnail here if I want to, but I'm gonna use the full image and then I'm gonna click apply. The next option that I need to decide and set is when this live stream will be taking place. So I can schedule this to, let's say, next Tuesday on a certain time. So let's say I'm gonna do that at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is my time zone. What I'm gonna do next is click on this button that says customize for each destination. So this is really cool because now I can actually go into each of those posts, those live streams for different channels and actually edit the copy for each of those live streams. So what you can imagine here is that my post for YouTube might be a little bit different than my copy for the Twitter feed live stream. So I can actually check that and edit for each of the different channels that I'm gonna be multi-streaming to. Once I'm happy with all of the information for the live streams for all of those channels, then I can click on Create Broadcast and that will actually schedule a live stream on YouTube as well as Facebook because those are the two channels where the live stream can actually be pre-scheduled and promoted. So I'm not gonna actually create broadcasts on that example, but I will show you an example of a scheduled live stream that is about to happen next week so that you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna go here and click Enter Broadcast Studio for this upcoming live stream happening next week with Dr. Shamika Dean. The next screen I'll get is just a screen here to make sure that my microphone is working. You can see that right there. I can also change the display name that shows up when I go live right here. And then I can click on Enter Broadcast Studio once I'm ready and happy with those settings. There you go. So now this is what this live stream is gonna look like. This has actually been scheduled a little while ago. So now you can see that it's actually pulling all of the comments on the scheduled live. You can see some of the comments here from Facebook. I can also put myself, my webcam on the screen right here. So there I am. What you'll see here is that this is scheduled for Monday, March 30th, which is next week at 2 p.m. And if I wanted to, I could actually edit this as well. So if I change my mind, I say, you know what? I need to move this scheduled live stream to 4 p.m. on March 30th. I can click on edit and I can change the scheduled time right here to a different time in the future. So when I'm ready, I can go and click this blue go live button and I will go live on all of these five channels on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Periscope slash Twitter. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment. I am answering every single question that is left here on this video. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.